At a Surabaya hospital, the family of Hayati Hamid have come to collect her body. She is the first of the 162 people on board flight 8501 to have been recovered and identified. On the flight with her on Sunday, and still missing, are her husband, her daughter and her mother-in-law. As her coffin was carried out, the skies over Surabaya opened, a reminder of just how fast the weather here can change, just as it did on Sunday morning over the Java Sea. The families of this first victim now can start the process of grieving and laying the body of their loved one to rest. But for the families of the more than 150 others who are still missing, they still really have no idea where their bodies are. And that's why finding the rest of the aeroplane remains the most urgent and vital task. Out in the Java Sea, the search continues, but so far to no avail. The waters are brown and murky, churned by the rain and winds. It could be days before divers can go down to start searching the sea floor. Back in Surabaya, Kevin Kwana is waiting for news of his classmate and best friend, Stephanie Gunawan. This is a video he shot of her at college last semester. She loved singing, he says, and chocolate ice cream. At this, her favorite ice cream parlor. Yes, aku juga suka pergi. We loved singing together, he says. We had a favorite Indonesian song we used to sing. I miss her terribly because she was my best friend. If I had a chance, I want to tell Stephanie that I still need her. Tonight in a village outside Surabaya, Hayati Hamid's body was laid to rest, according to Muslim tradition. There will be many more scenes like this in the coming days, but not until they find the missing plane. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Surabaya.